All right, so here is the Frankenstein. That is my new rig. It came out perfectly. It's exactly the way I wanted it. And then we're gonna put this in here, and then this is gonna go into a cheese plate. And hopefully this will work a little better. All right, so here is our cheese plate adapter that we just ordered. This is what it came with. Now we're gonna use this to mount this and this microphone on our DSLR right up here somehow. So we're gonna grab this, we're gonna put it through this way. It's gonna go right into here. Right now we're gonna do the mic next. And now we're going to put this to the bottom of this. If I just managed to squeeze in this LED light and this microphone without obstructing the actual screen, so the screen still rotates because the mic in this camera is positioned right in front, but I mean, you can still do what you need to do. Um, let me just take this off. So I'm using a Formino quick release. So I love these things if you guys haven't used them, but this is sort of the setup. As you can see, I did it on the underneath which means I can still put stuff on top, like a power bank, for example, uh, or another LED light, or perhaps a GoPro, anything you want. So it's much better than this solution, although this is a good one. Uh, this is a splitter that I picked up. Um, but um, as you can see, the, the profile much larger, right? And I like that because it, it's, I mean, the camera's big, but it doesn't look that big. So we've got some uh, quarter to 20 to 3 8 to 16 screw adapters that you can use to extend certain things. But we want to use this cheese plate with these guys to mount these lights. So instead of using this big ring light, we want to attach two of these here with the cheese plate. So then when we're holding the camera, we're going to have 2000 lumens between the two of them. So we're going to take this cold shoe mount and we're going to strip this off. One. Really hard to do this with one hand, you know. But we're going to get, and we're going to add an extension for the cheese plate using the things that we just got. So we're going to put uh, this one, and then we're going to put this on top. We're going to screw it in, right? So, and then we're going to add an extension like this, right? And then we're gonna put this in here, and then this is gonna go into our cheese plate. Then hopefully this will work a little better. All right, so here is the Frankenstein. That is my new rig. It came out perfectly. It's exactly the way I wanted it to. So we've got the Fomito quick release because I want one light to be swappable for another uh, tripod. We've got our mic included in here with a little plastic clasp that is attached to the other um, lights cover here. So if I wanna take off the mic, I just pull this and then the mic goes out with it. I also attached a, um, a power bank. I think it's 10,000 milliamp. It's got a built-in micro USB and USB-C cable and it also has two outs as well. So this will come in handy when I wanna charge anything on the go, like a phone, for example. I just place it down on here. Uh, now in terms of the, um, the pieces used, you can see that I added the adapter extension and then I threw another thread in here that's attached to the cheese plate and that's sort of centered in. And then this is attached through a screw that I'm gonna just show you here, right? So th there, there's a screw in there that's holding the light. Uh, this is holding on two rubber bands. Uh, and then this one also is on a uh, kind of like a, a thing that I got in the set, in this set. Uh, 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 there you go, there's a piece that I sort of hacked as a bolt almost. So that way I can just take this off, pull this off, and move it on anywhere else. So I'm pretty happy. So these Fomito ones are 25 bucks. Uh, this entire set was $17 Canadian currency. This light is, I think, $40. That's a $40. They're both lumens controlled by the app. Power bank was uh, 25 bucks, I think. Uh, and then this is the mini road mic. And then this is the SL2 um, Rebel with a flip screen. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm, and the cheese plate was uh, sixteen dollars again Canadian. So I'm pretty satisfied with this rig. Obviously, it's a little heavier, but um, I'm not really gonna be vlogging with this. I got my 360 Insta One X for that. This is more for interviews and things like that. Probably even attach a GoPro for the second angle, but more than likely, I'll just add a quick quick release for the uh, Insta 360 on top of here somehow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it or found it helpful, click click like, share, and click that bell to get notified of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching you guys and good luck with your vlogging and anything else. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.